Welcome to And Here's Modi. Uh, we are in the studio today, uh, Leo, Periel, Cody. Um, but we, of course, begin with by thanking our uh, collaborators, uh, sponsors. Cre uh, creative. Creative. A&H uh... <laughs> kosher um, produce. A&H. Uh, it's not produce. It's uh, provision. Provisions. Sorry. It's provisions. deli meats. I'm Modi. sorry. It's been a minute since we've been yeah, in the studio. It's been a while. A&H provisions. Best hot dog, Cody, you'll ever mm. eat in your life. Even <laughs> non-Jews have figured out that this is the hot dog to eat. Their website is available through Periel. Um, first of all, 30% off with code Modi <laughs> at www.kosherdogs.net. And we all, and also they're glot kosher. They're glot kosher, yes, mm -hmm. and they're delicious, and they they send a beautiful package whenever you they send. And Whites and Luxembourg, the law firm you want on your side. Um, uh, Arthur Luxembourg, fan of the podcast, and it's a law firm that's not only doing well but also does good. Besides doing being a great law firm, they also are very philanthropic. And um, do we qualify as their philanthropy? No. Yeah, this is a charity <laughs> case. Yeah, this is a big <laughs> fat charity case. <laughs> no. Uh, Has to show them. No. no, no, no They're no. just fans and we and we love them. Okay. And we and you can find them at whitelux.com. Whitelux.com. And yes. we messed up their website so many times they had to buy a new domain so that people would be directed mm. to this. It's also Whites right in Luxembourg. So. Okay. Hi. Hey, how Cody are you? Nice to see you with clothing Cody on. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't seen you since Fire Island yeah. where we were just walking around with uh, shorts. Shorts? And, and by that, you I just were wearing shorts. Right. Yes. I was probably in a Speedo. In a Speedo. Yes. As you should be. Absolutely. As you should be. Um, your book is out. What? My book is out. I, lo I love a Speedo. A I'm spe yeah. yeah. Oh, I thought I, was, I did something wrong. No, no, no. I, yeah. I love a Speedo. You gotta let, you gotta let it. It's Fire Island. You gotta show as much as you possibly can. We did. Um, <laughs> we, we really, really did. Uh, your book is killing it, huh? Yeah. It, Cody has a book, ladies and gentlemen, and it yes. is an XOXO. XOXO Cody, an opinionated homosexual's guide to self-love, relationships, and tactful pettiness. Whoa. I haven't said that full line in a few weeks, so I feel like it was like it's good. getting yeah, back you, into it, it. As if, bam, you went right into yeah. it. Yes, we're here. Like did riding the whole, a bike, pun intended. The whole book tour in September. Yeah, I left Fire Island. Right. I had a stressful week before, and then mm -hmm. I did two weeks of nonstop, took a little break, went to L.A., Took a little break, went to Chicago, and now I'm back in New York. It feels good. And what's that good. like doing the book tour and meeting people and signing the books and speaking to everyone? Well, okay, little little uh, insider trading. Like, I spent all of August with these little papers, and you just sign your name, and uh. then you send them back to the publisher, and then they put them in the book <gasps> so that when you get to the event... This book, the book is already signed. Mm. So then it was just taking pictures, kissing babies, mm -hmm. like all that sort of stuff. Um, it was great though. And what are the th <laughs> some of the things that people tell you? Like, um, when... that I changed their lives. Yes. Yeah. Um, but most importantly, they love to tell me how tall I am because I guess on camera I don't look as tall. I'm That's not six, true. Two and a half. I agree. And then the other one that I really do love is they are like, oh, my God, you're so hot. Like, you're so much hotter in person, which is always <laughs> a good thing to hear. Yes. You know what I'm saying? It's a little yes. backhanded, but we'll take we, it. We take it, no, yes. I'll, I'll definitely take it. You, wanna be, you definitely want to be hotter in person than on camera. My mom, yes. when my mom yes. first met Periel, she said to her, you look much better live than you do on camera. <laughs> That's a compliment. In her way. In my, for my mother, that is a <laughs> yeah, compliment. It's very warm. 100%. Yes, very warm for her. Yes. But, uh, but, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, some people, you don't always find your light, you know, angles. But the, uh, the, okay. the interpretation of that can also be, I was not expecting Expecting you to be attractive. Yeah, you look. Hey, but here I am it. in the flesh, and I'm hot. So what does it matter? You yeah. know, we're here now, and let's yeah. deal with it. Yeah. So wait, what, repeat the whole title of the book. <laughs> no, it's <was> so good. <sighs> XOXO Cody, an opinionated homosexual's guide to self love, relationships, and tactful pettiness. Wow. So let's wow. should we, we walk through some of those? Yeah. Let's let, let's first. Unpack, yes. let's unpack all of those <laughs> one yeah. by one. Uh, I, I think we'll go with the with the uh with the, the ending. The, the, yeah, the to pettiness. Okay. Uh, Give it to you us. No, I believe in like it, what it comes down to is like shade with intention. So you want to mm. like throw a little bit of shade at your friends so that they get better, look better, do better. For my audience, shade is uh, <laughs> yeah, a little let, let lush and hara, a little, a little <laughs> gossip at this, a little. Okay, so just so you know, shade. When you throw shade, you throw a little. A little, you know, a little Einhara, a little. Okay, so now <laughs> no, we're all. Up. I don't agree with that, but we'll keep. But go ahead. You understand these words? Yes. yes. 
Wow. Yeah. Oh, I'm in deep, Cody. I, I see. <laughs> I see. Yeah. That's the title of Leo's book. So go ahead. Yeah. So, so what's the pettiness? What's the pettiness? Well, it's like, yeah, you wanna you wanna throw a little shade so people so people do better. It'd be like, you know, looking at someone's outfit and being like, that's a choice. Or if a girl got bangs, being like, okay, maybe not next time. Okay. You know, uh, well, something we, along those lines. So it's truthful. It's just so yeah. There's truth in it. Yes. But it's it's from a place of love. Right, 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 right. We'll leave the regular pettiness for people we don't care about. <laughs> right, right. Okay. And, you know? and what was Which it? What, what was it like writing this book? Like, how long did it take you? Have you always wanted to write a book, or was it something that was like, hey, you should write a book? Book. Um, like, oh, okay. I I don't think it was like something I always thought of doing, mm -hmm. and like I always consider myself kind of dumb. Like it, I I need a uh, grammarly to finish an email, so <laughs> like writing a book is a challenge. But when I was like had the opportunity, I was like, oh, this is another way to tell my story. I feel like mm -hmm. a lot of people, either through social media or through my classes at Peloton, they only get little snippets, and so now I had 220 pages to like sit down, tell my story, go deep, but also keep it light and funny. Um, I actually feel like I completed the book pretty quick. Mm -hmm. I had what this is we're in 2023. Right? Yes, I yeah. was doing like proposals and going either. to publishers in 2022, end of the summer. Wow. So I had probably signed my deal September of 2022, and I had oh, wow. it launched by September 2023. Right. That's very fast. Wow. Very and fast. The, and yeah. the, so people who don't know who you are, uh -huh. uh, just the the story is during COVID you became. A positive energy in the world. Yeah, I yeah. think so. Um, yeah, I've been at Peloton for nine years. Peloton's a stationary bike that streams uh, fitness classes to people's homes. And when we're in lockdown, a lot of people bought the bike, and I became uh, a light. You became for people's people favorite thing in the like you. You got people. I'm sure they told you in the yeah. book tour. You got people through the pandemic. Yeah, like, which you kind of like. I guess we also forget that it happened. Like, oh, not we, forget, but like you forget. Was, but then there's moments when out of nowhere, you something will remind you. <laughs> yes, a picture. Yes. Like, like Leo sends me a picture. Leo, my phone has a picture that Leo took of me doing a Zoom show. Oh, God. me in front of 500 people in my apartment you know set up with the lights and everything doing a zoom show you uh -huh. forget that that, that 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 nightmare happened did but, you have pants on though um shorts yeah. i was sweating <laughs> the, i used to sweat a lot during those yes. shows okay yeah yeah no i i, de I definitely remember all the so you were a calls. peloton instructor for years yeah. before the pandemic yeah and then it just like blew it, up yeah essentially i mean i'm glad i had those six years because i had a lot of a lot of mistakes to make i had to figure out who i was like you look at my classes from seven years ago. It's a fucking mess. So yeah, <laughs> but they were in person. Yeah, first. well, it's always been streamed. So right. like we've yeah. always been streaming classes. But before the pandemic, we were at an old studio and it was full of people. Then during the pandemic and afterwards, it was empty. And like this, probably this time last year, we started inviting people back to the studio. So it's it's been nice. And. People obviously love you because you're just sort of very unfiltered very. and funny. And d were you surprised that Peloton gave you that much free reign? Or was it something that you had to, they, once they saw it was working, they kind of were like, okay, let's do this. Or did it just happen? I think it's a little bit of both. I think I've always like towed the line a little bit. I think when my, my new boss, Jen Cotter, came in, she all, like let me out of the cage a little bit and was yeah. just like, go for it. And so I yeah. feel like I had permission. Um, but I also just feel like that's what people resonated with at home. If I would share a story, a funny story about my mom or talk mm -hmm. about pop culture or be a little petty about ex uh, pop star, they would really resonate with that. Uh -huh, and so yeah. I would just kind of double down on it. Yeah. And I think it's always a finessing of, I'm sure you feel this way with comedy. It's like you, you kind of toe the line of how much can you press it without, with, right. with also being a little bit you know, it, respectful. It, it's funny. It, it's, it's, uh, it's, you, the closer you are to the line, the funnier it is. Yeah. If you pass it, you can't go back. Exactly. But you, but I, if you're back here, you're parv. You're, you're like, there's no flavor to you whatsoever. But exactly. if you're right by that line, playing with it and teasing it, then it's then, then that's when it's really fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I guess it's the and same go, way. With going your, back to the first type part of your title, opinionated homosexual. Yeah. How much trouble have those opinions gotten you in within the gay community? Because you do Ooh. are very open about I how you think, feel about I don't a think lot the gays things. have really like no no I don't think it's the gays okay that's good to know what are the opinions yeah that are so controversial I mean, or they, alleg allegedly, they're wide ranging they're wide ranging I, I think it's more I don't I don't think that they're okay. controversial I think that they're just blunt and forward mm -hmm. I think as a gay man, we're always kind of like sex is so embedded in our culture mm -hmm. and we talk about it pretty openly and 
and freely. Whereas I'd say like the majority of my audience is probably like more so women. And I don't think women in our society get a lot of permission to talk about sex freely without being reprimanded or calling a slut or whatever it is. And so I think when I talk about that so freely, it kind of empowers women or they, or they, or they see something that they want to try and they mm-hmm. go for it because I'm out here just like, talking my truth and being a slut well yeah i saw in an article you said you did not survive a pandemic to not have an orgasm not to fake an orgasm not to fake an orgasm so it's not, <laughs> ladies we're not leaving yes, we didn't go through two, uh, two years of lockdown to now have sex with people who are making you fake an orgasm mm-hmm. yeah because then you then your live streams took on this like advice column sort of yeah and that's kind of where the, the book came evolution. from it's like people would send me relationship questions and i would give them a uh, brash and while you were spinning the while, while you were spinning, spinning. Like, I right isn't that, that that's multitasking that huh? i want to yeah. tell you that so i good. once taught a spin class you did <laughs> what i don't know this you don't know this i once taught a spin class uh, we were doing a comedy show <laughs> taping it for comedy central in guantanamo bay cuba oh my and they God. had a gym they had a gym it's a it's a naval base but they had a gym okay. i went to this gym and I see there's a spin class set, set up and everybody's in there. I said, like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna take a spin class. I walked in there. Now keep in mind, there was this thing called, when spin first came out, mm. and this was in, like, for me, I think it was like around 99, 2000, yeah. something like that. Oh, well, I even took that. those classes, Red, uh, Red Dog. Okay. Yeah. You yeah. know what Red Dog is? I mean, I, I was I so vaguely. into spin. I took their classes. How to be an instructor? But Mad Dog. Mad Dog. Mad Dog. That's it. Yes. Yes. That's yes, it. Yes. And I had, I had on my MP3 my little set. <laughs> Not list. MP3. What, yeah. It wasn't even yeah. an iPad Nano. No. No. It was like those no. little old ass. Um. <laughs> and I, uh, I had my own. And my, whenever I, did, I was in my own spin class, always. And then we went to this this class in Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, and the instructor just didn't show up. And I got it. I said, I'm I got ready. It. Put me in. Put me in. <laughs> and I went Put up me there. In. I went up there and I plugged in my music. What was I, the music? Oh, I don't know. Oh, wow. Patikva. No, hilarious. <laughs> no, it was. Um, this is the rhythm of the night. It was uh, very not that. bad. It was very okay. that. Oh, um, do you have complete control of the music on your stream? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. you. I yeah. couldn't let anybody. Yeah, 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 yeah. That but, makes sense. But don't they make you pay like royalties and stuff? Oh, that's Isn't, not my job. That's not yeah. your job. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's leave that job to somebody okay, smart. Got you. Got you. All right. Yeah. Um, someone's dealing with that i have a question that i kind of always ask people who have like a really large online following uh-huh. which you obviously do uh-huh. like how do you balance all of that because it can become real toxic real fast and like are you in the dms do you read the things that people send do you like uh, oh i'm gonna log in for 20 minutes and then log are you out asking for a friend <laughs> do you have it do you have it on your do you, some people just have deleted instagram from their phone they have someone else i've, I've gone through like, phases i definitely need to get back into deleting instagram and not not because i have a lot of toxicity thrown at me it's just that i'm addicted to it and I, i'm yeah. on it too much so i need to like create a boundary there um i'll be honest most of the people that follow me or interact with me are pretty kind sweet yeah. like they are impacted by the th- things that I do in a positive way. So I don't really get a lot of like negativity. Mm. I think when I was doing Dancing with the Stars, I did make the mistake of going on like Twitter and looking at my name and mm. some people were not very nice. And yeah. that was just like a <laughs> a very emotional draining time, yeah, physically forward. emotionally draining time. So I remember like having a little like mentee B uh, and for the <laughs> followers at home, that means mental breakdown. <laughs> um, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. She's dying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we learned that from the young generation. Um, so uh, from that point on i kind of l- like knew to not like look up my name or google my name because if i wasn't yeah. in a good place or willing to look at it mm. um most of the time no everyone's pretty positive and good my aren't, to hear. aren't nasty and then most of the time i'm like if you got time to fucking yeah. type something to to a stranger your opinion it's like insane. Maybe, like you need to find something a to full, do a yeah. full half torah they write they write the entire the the, the pages and the pages way I use like context clues it's right in now. Uh, yeah you think he knows what half torah yeah their whole torah. like uh, a bible they write it's got insane. it got it, got it, got it. well torah i got the torah, torah part. Part. Yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah and half is half so you got oh, half there the torah. we go there you go you're all set. <laughs> there we go <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, it's true. It's like well, who's reading these things? Like, what do these people think? Like, but once in a while, I get like, one that posting? is just great, yeah. and and um, I, we just had shows that was it, it, once in a while they're great. I I do not. Um, Leo handles it all, okay. but I um I do pop in there and look at the stuff and sometimes they're great sometimes they're like they're really ins- they're great you- he's deleted all yeah of i've all deleted of all of the <laughs> all the questions at once so well, when you're doing this book tour and you're doing you did like the today show uh-huh you did all these other shows mm-hmm. i saw you on do you you don't seem nervous at all 
Do you ever no, get he's, nervous? He's a spin uh, instructor. He's used I know, to being but it's people. different. It's, it's different. It is a little bit different. Um, I, you I, seem like it was your. Sh- when I saw the Today Show clip, uh huh, it, it was like your set. Thank you. And you're like, we'll welcome. It. Uh, we'll, we'll it was very it. impressive. We'll let the producer of today know. Um, <laughs> although I'll be honest with you, so going knowing that I had a lot of press and high profile like press coming up for the book tour, I was nervous kind of like mid like throughout the summer. I'd like think about it and have a little bit of a panic attack. A menti just B. Like, a menti no nah, panic <laughs> attack. We didn't get to menti B just yet. Um so I had to like breathe through it and process it. But to be honest, when it came time for it, I don't know. I kind of just something when you like step into the moment and mm-hmm. like do it, it it felt like there were no nerves. I was like super excited. It Thank felt you. really natural. So I was like, you're in your really, element and you deserve yeah, it. Like, I was, I was proud of myself for yeah. like tackling the anxiety, showing up and like figuring it out and honestly it feeling really, really good. So yeah. Showing but it's not like big, a, showing up is a big part of it. Yeah. Showing up is showing a big, up big is the part. Hardest part. Yes, it is. You can get there. Once you get there, you'll figure it out. Yes. That's actually great advice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, my yeah. my friend Miles. Miles Red. Do you guys know? Yeah, yes. we know Miles. Yeah. So one of my like everybody asked me about, like what advice has someone given you? And he always was like, What? His dad told him like show up and you'll figure out the rest. And that's always stuck with me. If it's a social uh-huh. event that you're like Mm-hmm. nervous about being at or being on tv like just show up and you'll figure it out yes and i live that's by actually that really good advice great for miles red yeah an unbelievable uh interior de- the decorator iconic yeah. honestly iconic <laughs> and so gentile yes he does he's, he's the most like the most non waspy you've known him forever <laughs> and he always tells me about like when he d- does for, for jewish when jewish people hire him uh-huh he has just so many things. Yeah, he's out. a maximalist. He's so there's ma- lots there's of things. And colors. And the, and the Jewish people are like, how do you clean that? There's so much <laughs> dust in. Why do you have to have all the books out here on the table with candles on top of them? The, the girl is never going to be able to clean it all. The girl. The, the girl. girl. The girl. Yeah. Oh, the girl. <laughs> how do you clean that? How do you clean that? He always imp- As if she's worried that. Yes. Like, yeah. So what was your experience on Dancing with the Stars like? You had to, you got COVID, right? I got COVID, yeah. Oh, no, right. wow. So. When it was like, well, yeah. Well, you were in the middle. There was, must have been crazy to do a production like that in the middle of a worldwide. Yeah. Well, pandemic. I think that was what? 2021. Just walking around the Q-tip. 2021. Q-tip so notes. like it was a little bit. We still weren't completely. I think we were va- all vaccinated at some point. So. We were vaccinated by then, mm-hmm. but there were still all these regulations. And yeah, the first week went, and then second and third week, I had to like, they did, they took one of my, I got COVID, well, my partner got COVID, so then they had oh. to use rehearsal footage. Then I got COVID, and wow. I had to do my dance from my living room, and my partner <gasps> did her part of the dance from her living room in Los Angeles. Very no. RuPaul, but very RuPaul's Drag Race. Very now. that. Very, <laughs> very RuPaul's that. Drag Race. I had to set up the lights. The oh my to, god! I had to like take my living room, take everything out, Same. put up the lights, like Same. all of it. Yeah. Same. We our living room, yeah. our living room. We have like these two pieces of art, and uh-huh. when you take them up, just pins, and we put flags up for what whatever character uh-huh. I was doing. Whatever thing, we just the room just turned into a studio. Yep. It shows doing Zoom shows yep. out of that living room. What a nightmare. <laughs> but both of us did very well because of the, the of COVID. Yeah. We yeah. we pivoted, as they we said. Pivoted. I, and uh to a positive to helping people. Absolutely. To absolutely. uh yeah. And that's what I always like try to like hold on to. I think. And I ha- I have a Leo. I have a Leo in my life. So I've uh uh-huh. I've Leo, not a Leo. Uh-huh. Because then people are gonna think it's a Leo uh sign. Yeah, yeah. I'm a Libra. Libra. You're a Libra. But oh my God. Yeah. do you have somebody that's running you need a team in place? Well, I've someone... got my beautiful assistant, Ren Anders, yeah. here, Jen's Ren. assistant, as known on my Instagram mm-hmm. page. So we you know we're always running the running the show. Peloton has a great like production team, so they help with things. I got my agent, I got PR, like uh, there's a whole yeah. there's a whole machine by now because yes. it it literally does take a village. You can't do this team. Yeah. You can't do things without people behind you. Yeah, it's it's, it's never like stuff. how is it being around a Gen Z person all day long? Um, you know we have great ar- we have arguments. Do you say you're arguments. welcome? Do you say you're welcome or do you say no worries? I think she's. You say you're welcome. You know, I don't know. That Modi is has a, a, joke is a about thing, that. though. Modi has a joke about that. That's why. Yeah, no, I've, just, I've read. I've read this that like younger people don't like to say thank you. They say thank or, you. Sorry, you're welcome. They don't say you're welcome. And I've 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 seen this now in other countries. In oh, Paris really? also. Paris people say merci and they say de rien. That's the well, uh, you're welcome. Now they say like ne peut pas ne peut pas. So um, the, it's every place now. The uh, the younger generation. What is the, what is the logic there? I have no idea. 
Tell me something. So, what's your, your your next thing? Is a book? You're still selling this book? Yeah. You're still you still you still teach? No. Yeah, I'm teaching today. Teaching yeah. today, even uh, okay. Class, yeah. Yeah, and then um, and then what's next? Just um, a few thing, a few things. I'm trying to use this book to get into more like speaking engagements. Mm -hmm. Um, I just did one at Google last week, so that was really great. Oh yeah, what did you talk? How yeah. Was that? Um, it was great. I think it was also something that like when I was doing press, I was like nervous about, but once I showed up and did it, I got it done. Um, it's just like you know a 30 minute keynote and. Uh, what were the highlights? Well, what's your I mean, thing I think to, it's mostly about What's our, your Miles Red advice for people? To not take life so seriously and to be able to laugh at themselves. And I feel like that's how I've been able to have success is not taking, like, obviously life is deep and serious and we should put our work into it. But yeah. when we let it overpower us, I think it, it defeats us. But when we can kind of like set, step back and laugh at it, that we were really empowered. And I wow. think that's really like Very good. how I've been able to find my success. Um, that like when things go wrong, I was like, well, okay, shit happens, you know? Yeah. Um, so I want to get more into that. Um, so being a uh, a um, a positive uh, uh, a self help kind of a speaker. Yeah, but yeah. like not. I feel like a lot of self help becomes so. I don't Easy. know, like boring or or yeah. serious. Like I always want to infuse like laughter and levity into it. Of like, course, but I I think with self help, it, you still have one point, one thing to hit on, which is yeah. you, yours is don't take yourself too seriously. Yeah, like laugh at right. yourself. Um, when they get too too much in one one in one, when they're trying to give too, too much advice on on everything, yeah, Just yeah have yeah. one topic and keep trying to get yeah. there. Yes. Did you grow up exercising? Like, did you discover? <laughs> um. No, I always say this, like people ask me if I do sports, I say that I was the tetherball champion of Guilford Middle School. So <laughs> if you know what tetherball is, this like, yeah, it's, did you have this? It's a I, metal, it's a metal bar in the ground with a string and a ball. Oh, yes. And you got to loop it around. I, I've seen that. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I was really good at that because I was tall. <laughs> I would slay okay. all the fifth graders and just like, I was really good at that. But beyond that, <gasps> I never played sports. <laughs> so how did you come to exercise like in like well, the world of yeah, exercise. it's an interesting journey. Um, I was an eccentric child. I loved to perform and be in musical theaters, and then um, I Shocking. got into what? Shocking. Yeah, I, <laughs> I know, really. Um, and then I, but I was really good at dancing, so I started to study dance here in New York City. Uh, oh. I came to New York in two thousand six to intern at Broadway Dance Center. So then I started dancing for like artists like Nicki Minaj, Katy Perry, Pitbull, Saturday Night Live. Well, that wow. got kind of not stale, but I wasn't making money and I wasn't like really finding like. Yeah, but anything. now later on, you can say that you dance from Nicki Minaj. Of course, Marjorie, of course. Marjorie, it goes in the biography. It's in the speech. You know, it's all good. It all <laughs> yes, helps. Yes, yes. Um, so I hope it's disconcerting I... that Nicki Minaj and Katy Perry and Pitbull aren't paying their dancers. Very um, well. No, I it's think... not. Well, I just think uh, artists are probably not. <laughs> writing the checks yeah, for their dancers. They don't, know, right? uh, they don't know, but the, the life of an artist is just, especially a dancer, like you're just moving furniture and you're going from gig to gig to gig that like you're not making a ton of money. Mm -hmm. You're yeah, working right. because you're passionate about it. Right. Yeah. Um, and I was like, passion ain't paying the bills, so I got to figure out what's next. And then I was working at the the box here in the Lower East Side, uh, like front of the house, and yeah. uh, the choreographer there knew I was a dancer. He had a connection to Peloton. And it was like they're looking for performers that are into dance, that are into fitness. And I wow. went to wow. the gym. So it was like right place, right time. Wow. And having everything from learn, you know, I learned from my dance career. Then I applied that to fitness, and that's amazing. Yeah, that's amazing. no. I, yeah. I, when I think about it, I'm like, it's just like so serendipitous. It's just like, and this right all place, happens right at the box. All at the box. Down, I mean, that part did. <laughs> <laughs> that part did. Amongst I any other. I used to take the spin class when I lived in LA for for three years. I took a spin class at uh, the Equinox there. And um, there was this this one spin teacher who was like known as like a guru. He also taught yoga mm -hmm. and the whole nine yards, and everybody loved him. And there was one woman that always drove him crazy. <laughs> one woman always come to the class late. Uh, she would always um, and and he it would set him off. I bet, I'd oh, watch in it in like a very like in a very out of way. character way uh, for him. And um, and uh, it always happened. And I actually approached him. I said to him. Let me ask you a question. Don't you think you have some crazy karmic energy with this woman? Mm -hmm. I said to him, try to, just an advice. I know you're the guru of, mm. of all goodness and, and, and levitating on above ground without touching anything. But it, it just be super nice to her. Mm. Next time she comes late, make sure she gets a bike. Make sure she, and he says he did that. And he said, he says he to me, I used to see her everywhere. 
She was in my soup. I was looking in my soup and see if I was there. In the parking lot, whenever I'd pull in, she'd pull in. I'd be at the juice, she'd be next to me at the juice. She goes, I haven't seen her in months. He goes, I said, yeah, you, you had something with her. I could tell. I could so tell he you. he stopped it, like just from that little he, act of kindness. He, the, abs- the opposite, energy. he just, he always made sure, when she came late, he like almost knew she was going to come late and had a bike for her. He, why don't you take this one over here? And he put an extra towel there for her. And it was a whole little thing. And it was, it was, I, I Well, speaking I, about act of kindness. Yes. I have a story about you, actually. Yeah. We, it's a good oh, story. It's a, fa- okay. I, it's, it's a really cute story, oh, actually. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know who you were. Okay. I, this was like pre pandemic. This is, no, <laughs> no, this is like a, this is a while ago. And I was at the knockdown center. Okay. Yes. Okay. Ringing yes. a bell. You've been there many a time. Okay. Under many different circumstances. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> the people listening at home, um, the knockdown center is a music venue where all sorts of things go down and the crowd gets very lively. But mm. Mm. in this particular event, you weren't with me. I was with Evan by myself for some reason. Okay. And um, I was outside by the food trucks. Come. Okay. And I was like sitting there, and you were in front of me, and you had a plate of tater tots. Okay. <laughs> and was this pride? It might no. have been pride. Are you sure? It might have been pride. Yeah, because oh, you met me later. That's the I day you, you lost later. your wallet. Like to, 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 yes. Okay. It was a daytime yes. moment. Okay. So that then then food is in, in, in yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And okay. you had a plate of tater tots and you turned around and I was like, wow, that looks good. And you didn't even say anything. You just grabbed one, you put it in my mouth, <laughs> and you kept walking. And I was like, I don't know who that is, but it's an angel. <laughs> and then I, and then so that I, I anytime your name has come up, I was like, I'm a huge fan. And then that's why oh, I'd be like, well, one time he gave me a tater tot. Ron Tater Tots. What's his name? Has a whole thing. Uh, Ron White has a whole Tater Tater Tots. But that's something you would do. Absolutely. Yeah. Totally. You fed me a tater. You hand fed me a Tater yeah, Tot. We did not go. know each other. And now it's nice. a full circle moment. Now full we're circle. doing a podcast right together. <laughs> and then what happened? Yeah, that's amazing. I love that. It just takes a Tater Tot. Just takes a Tater Tot. The just... superior form of fried potatoes, in my opinion. Ooh. What exactly is a Tater Tot? It's the Very round, American. like, cylindrical. T- like nuggets it's of like potato. a non-jewish Nugget. version of a potato latke okay. oh you know oh my god no there's a do you guys have you ever been to edith's it's a jewish like uh yeah, deli counter jake keeps telling us we need it's to go really there. good it's yeah. right around the right around the block from my place okay they have latka tater tots Ooh. which oh, are wow. incredible they're the same thing with apple sauce thing. on I mean, it it's like a lot they take the latka they cut it in fours right and then they also put some sort of cheese sauce on it that's delicious Oof. Ooh. It's literally a potato latke. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Wait, so it's you're not, it's you're not from like a, it's sour cream? Was it not, it's not, no, no. I, mean, I think you can get sour cream, but sour I, cream I, is what I you put on. A, you're from, from North Carolina, right? North Carolina. Do they have Waffle House there? They sure do. Oh, what's Where your Waffle House? I so I'm from Florida, but I oh, did a lot of time in Georgia. Okay. I went to the University of Georgia, Goyim which enjoying is enjoying themselves. <laughs> Listen, I am having and a so moment. What, wait, smothered covered dice. What's your thing? He is not doing good. I can't even remember. I, they, <laughs> they have a really good hash brown, though. Yeah, they have good hash browns too. Go to see, hash browns, see, an omelet. Uh, how are the pan? Some bacon. I don't. I, I'm a pancake girl. They're I'm waffles. Not a waffle girl. They don't do pancakes. I know. I'm a. I'm a pancake girl. I, I'll take a waffle, but I prefer a pancake. <laughs> this is the most non-Jewish conversation that has ever happened on this podcast. Why? The two very, it their is waffle very, house? It's very gentle. What? It's very American. The what? Waffle house? The Waffle House. You, the, I'm going to bring you two to a Waffle House, and it's going to change your life. It's amazing. I'm it sure. Is. It looks. Uh, the, it it's disgusting. Be, and it's all three ninety nine. Yeah. yeah. The, you get the whole world. The, everything for three. Every part of the pig. Every 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 <laughs> sauce no, on top of it. An extra stack and this stack and the coffee. Three ninety nine. You yeah. can't. You and, and your free waitress parking. will have three teeth. And, yeah. You, if parking and, for everybody and, and, a, and a house arrest bracelet. <laughs> and a house. <laughs> Anklet, but you know, yeah. same thing. I have a question, which might not be super Mashiach energy, Go but ahead. I Uh-oh. have to ask: What is the most insane thing that somebody's like said to you, oh. like while because it's saying it seems like you have this like incredible, like free, amazing, and sometimes people are. You know. I don't know. I can't like nothing's popping off. No, I think nothing. one that like got under my nerves was someone like, hey, you're Cody Rigsby. And then I'm like, yeah. And they're like, no, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. I'm like, bitch, you just asked me about this. <laughs> so funny. That's their way I of get, like, here's what like, drives me crazy. Is it yes or no? I'm yeah. like, okay, bye. And they're I, like, can we take a picture? I was like, no, you don't even think I am who I am. Like, hilarious. So I get this. <laughs> I get um, people recognize me and mm-hmm. then they go, can I get a picture for my aunt? <laughs> n- not, not for her. And not uh, not for they, her. They ask you to be in the picture, or they just want to take a picture no, 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 of you. Oh, one time, oh. one time uh, in a, in the restaurant, over my friend Lucas's head. 
this woman goes, oh my God, it's you. I want to get a picture just so that I saw you. Yeah. And she takes a picture <laughs> over Lucas's head. <laughs> yeah, and, and you she, were just sitting. It was so awkward. She, I, I go, do you want me to, I was ready to come up. Yeah, 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 no, they're she like, goes, no, 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 just, just, so, just so that they see that I saw you, take a picture, and that was it. And then I get the ones like, this is for my, my, for my aunt. She loves you. I go, not you, right? But you, <laughs> my aunt, my aunt loves you. Yeah, now my aunt. So what's your favorite story in the book without having to give anything away? Or like, what would you say? We have not read the book yet. And oh, that's I haven't. Sorry, don't worry about we're it. We're going to. We're that's going to. Worry about it, even we if just, you don't. No, yeah, I will just, read And I love that you brought, you, brought, you brought us a copy, too. That's yeah. how deep he is in this tour. He stopped carrying a copy I of did. it with him. Yeah, we did. We forgot. Yeah, okay. look at the both I left of them. it on the box <clears throat> on the on the. It's okay. okay. Um, Fine. Well, I did say this on my Instagrams. I don't know if it's my favorite story, but it's a very pivotal one. Is that when I was in college, when I tried to hook up with a girl, I couldn't get a boner. So that's when I knew I was gay. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. You didn't know before that. You didn't know before that. No, I knew before, but like I was like, you know, I'm still straight. Like maybe there's a chance, but then like when the vagina. Yeah. How do you say it in Hebrew? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is in front of you, you, you cannot get that? erect. Uh, Omed. Okay. Uh, wow. Kind of where you're like, hey, wow. I am a gay. Really? And what year was this? 2005? Wow. Six? So yeah. I was 19, 18, 19. And had you hooked up with guys by that point? Yeah, I had yeah. a boyfriend at some point in high school. That didn't give it away? That didn't give it away. No, to you. but you know, you, of I course. respect you giving That's it like the, literal like, college college the literal college try. The literal college try. The literal college try. I respect that you're like, let me revisit this. You never know. I, I get it. So when I was in my 20s, one of my best guy friends who's gay came into my apartment and I was butt naked. And he goes, oh my God, disgusting. Put that thing away. <laughs> <laughs> Well, <laughs> you do have a book called The Only Bush I Trust is my own, so That's we'll it. let that speak for itself. I love that. Thank you. Yeah, you should read that. We'll, we'll do a book exchange. No, but your book time. I'm going to read on a flight. Yours is a do. flight book, yeah. 220 pages. I know. It Next time be... you go to L.A. Yeah. But I do like the idea Which is of... Saturday. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we have. <laughs> Speaking of, of North Carolina, I'll be in Charlotte, North <laughs> you Carolina. You better plug. You better plug it. I'm be plugging the hell out of it. I, yeah, I just... love a shameless plug. Because oh. if you don't, you know... It, if you don't do it, so it no cumbersome. One... You just do it. Just go for it. Yeah. And I think that's a motto for life. You don't even have to be... Whatever you got going on or you want to do, fucking plug it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I've been cursing a lot. Sorry. Is that okay? It's a fine. No. It's fine. It's fine. Better it's fine. Than me. Yeah. Okay. Perryell is usually. Perryell is usually the best. I like the day. idea of signing the actual book, though. Oh. I was going to bring that back to it. I was going <laughs> to wow. go back to it. I was going to go back. So. Well, you know, when you're selling so many books, <laughs> oh, it's very hard period. to sign each one. <laughs> Maybe you don't know about that, Miss Bush lady, okay? Miss Bush lady. <laughs> This lady, and he, I was oh gonna say God. something before, but I said, you know what? Shut your mouth, Modi. And thank God you went for it. I, I, I was just, I just did a tour. I did a tour in 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 Israel now, um, right before the war, and uh, I they for this they had me sign these posters mm -hmm. for the big donors, whatever. And I was just, I was so bored backstage. We got there early before, and sound checking we're done. Sound check mm -hmm. is two seconds, and I was just signing, just, just writing every, help. <laughs> help Modi I go don't believe anything they tell you Modi I was like Mashiach energy Modi I was just writing help, help so I, I kind of do get those, those, <coughs> I, now I have people coming to the Peloton studio and they'll have a book and I have to sign it and like I'm I, I, I get nervous of like what is that part that part the part that's not my name like yeah, Best wish, you like what the like. You have to have a go to. Slay, baby. What's your, like, what's your thing? You don't have a go to. A go to? Uh, I. That's what I got to figure out. I would literally oh, just write X O X O Cody. It has been. It has Mashiach been X O X O Cody. X O X O is the easiest thing okay, in the okay, world. Okay, okay, then, then we're fine on that. I thought there needed to be more. Wait, you guys, what's your? You guys sign? are roasting he's, me he's for not doing it. And he's, then you're like, do less. Okay, he's, he's going to say to his assistant, "Don't ever book me on a pushy Jew podcast again." Like, which one is it? What do you want? You have to have something you write to them. I've been doing X O X O Cody, but I have like. Best wishes or like, no, oh, you no. yeah. I love you. Oh, like, okay. I, I, during COVID, I said stay safe, which I hate, but oh. now it's coming back. And then, um, right now it's coming, I, coming back. You know, I say stay safe. <laughs> I say stay safe to Uber drivers when I get out of the car. I mean, it's an, it's a tough job. I, I, I don't think that's a weird thing. They're They're some of them drivers. are horrible drivers. Some of them are horrible. A lot of things. No one taught them how to drive. Some of them are very kind. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna give a shout out to my father. Okay. My father was a driving instructor okay. in, in Israel. Okay. He had the laminate in the back of the car. Love like, that's how you know, like, it's a driving yeah, school yeah, teacher. Yeah. Well, he taught me how to drive. Okay. And he always taught me how to, to, to think about being the passenger in the car. Mm -hmm. So when you squeeze on the brakes, 
Uh, you, you're holding a wheel. These drivers have no idea what the passenger's going through. We're literally nauseous in the back of their cars. We're literally vomiting back there with the, but is that they're pumping you're on your the phone brakes. Too much? What? Is that because you're on your phone too? Much? My, I'm not on my phone. Okay, great. I'm not on my phone. Okay. I don't. I I'm not. He is. That makes me nauseous. When I'm on my phone in the back of an Uber, it makes me nauseous for sure. I'm not, but they're pumping the brakes like it's, it's also New York City. Like, but you know, it's okay. that. It was. Wait, I, what's your sign? Gemini. Oh uh, wow. <laughs> so. What's your sign? Ooh. Oh, that's great. That's good for okay. you. Yeah, yeah Gemini, you know, I, I get it. Gemini's a little challenge. You? I'm a Taurus. Okay. Scorpio. Oh, yeah, my yeah, boyfriend's yeah. a Scorpio. A November Scorpio? Uh, end of October Scorpio. Oh, yours is coming up. Or is it already happening? No, no. It's Scorpio. Your, 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 your boyfriend's a Scorpio? Yeah, which is, I think, hor not compatible within the ast astrological sign. Really? That's what I what does he do? No. Um, he's uh, at, in school right now. He's getting his master's for interior design. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Cute. Yeah, just is that going to come in handy when you redo your? Uh, uh, absolutely, fire we've been working on the fire in the house together. I know, I've seen. Um, and yeah, it's something I think I'm. If we're, we're going down, passionate about it, but he's way more like talented. Wait, did, the, is your house on the water? No, absolutely not. Oh my god, did you I see know, the videos the that came like, out? I am dying. They need to. They got to figure that out. I kind of. It's kind of a thing that I'm just like, all right, I'll figure that out. How cool later. is it that you're a Fire Island homeowner now? What? How cool is it? It's so cool. It's always been a dream. Like ever since I went yeah. out there like 10 years ago, I thought I it was a, the that. most magical place. And I was like, I, I want something here. So there, it's very it might special. be a horrible investment, but fuck it. As long as you're not on the beach, yeah. you'll be on the beach in a few years. Yeah, thank you. You'll, you know, yeah. Property, great. <laughs> Before you know it, you will be. Before you know it, you will be. Wow. Yeah. Um, yes, that's an amazing thing. Um, you said, how does it feel to be a Fire Island homeowner? And I thought you said, how does it feel to be a Fire Island homo? I mean, <laughs> that, that's redundant. Who is in a homo out there? <laughs> yeah, that's a little redundant. That's redundant. But, but no, yeah. there's we. I did a show for the non-gape area, oh, all the way down there. You did. You, I remember you said that. Uh, wow. Was it? it was like they're all Israeli. No. There's a whole. Not this. Not, where we, no. not where, like, where we were. No. Not where we were. No. Not where we were. No. Not where we were. No. It looked like Long Island and Staten Island had a baby, and that's what it was. Did the jokes land though? Yes. Okay. Yeah, was I was an amazing. Have you ever had to play for like a very non-Jewish? Yes. I do comedy clubs. I used to tour the comedy show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you found your niche within. I that. found my niche. Yeah, that's great. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I yeah. just wasn't. I just. And let me tell you, there's a lot of non-Jews coming to my shows. That's good. And this past week, we were uh, when, my, when my show was canceled. I was on Matteo Lane's show. Oh. I did. Matteo was in Paris as, as well. Okay. And my show was canceled because there was a a, yeah, yeah. a protest outside the the uh, the um, theater. Not the, your the theater because of you. No, no, they were not protesting me. They, were pro they weren't <laughs> protesting me. Although that would have been great. Yeah, we would have. We hate Modi. Great. We hate Modi. Yes, great I'm PR. Modilive.com for all upcoming <laughs> shows. Um, but uh, I popped on Mateo's uh, show. Uh, I did t t 20 minutes up front for him. So cute. It was so much fun. And we got such nice uh, DMs from that. Um, but I have a big following of non Jews now What's also. Yeah, yeah. What's, your, what's the most surprising place that you've been clocked where you're like, oh, I. That, that someone's clocked me yeah um maybe like last time i was in brazil someone stopped brazil, brazil. Yeah. yeah and like not an american wow. like a brazilian brazilian that like lived there wow they had like access to the peloton app and they were like i love your classes she's like, mr work. worldwide yeah come on that's amazing. Come for the title honey <laughs> that's amazing. um yeah so, brazil i think that was just surprising i think yeah surprising like we're like oh wow. yeah, yeah it's nice Good, yeah. it's fun, and you deserve it, and you're you. adorable and uh, and sweet and the positive and Mashiach energy. Just it's what you put you put out there. Yeah, that tater tot was Mashiach. The tater tot was Mashiach energy. A little thing. A I need you to have tater tots. What? Soon. I need you yeah. to have we a have tater to go tot to eat soon. It. We'll we go to eat, eat it. We'll go to eat it. I'm sure I've had it. I just don't know it was a tater tot. They have great great sandwiches. Yeah. They used to have a restaurant restaurant, but they I think they closed it down to focus on other things. Both were in my neighborhood, so I went up frequently. So I also saw. I also saw that you mentioned that you had auditioned for the Barbie movie. I did, yeah. Is that something you want to keep doing, like auditioning for stuff? Or was it because... Um, listen, uh, that was a cool I project. am not like the greatest actor, but I'll make it work. I, I, I'm, uh, I, I have two things that are... That I've... In the works? Well, I've done them already, so oh. they'll come out soon. Okay. One is coming out soon and got announced, but I don't think I can talk about it because I'm a SAG member and I don't want to get in trouble. Yeah, okay, don't. Oh, um, yeah, 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 that's true. I forgot that. Um, and then... Um, so I, I'll do it if it's there. And Barbie movie, I was like, look, it's gonna be one of the biggest movies. I might as well fucking. I was gonna try. audition. I was gonna audition for Ken. <laughs> yeah, I did audition for Ken. <laughs> one lawyer. of the Kens. I'm one Ken's of the Kens. lawyer. 
There I got go. from Ken's Rabbi. Ken's so Rabbi. I'm Ken's uh, I was going to drive the, the Mashiach Mobile on set, the pink Mashiach Mobile on set. You know set. what? You're joking, but that's actually a yeah. great thing. Yeah, Mash- Mashiach Barbie. Um, I'm here for it. And I, I'm, I'm here for it too. And since you are here, tell us where can they see you, buy you, be oh, you, okay, all yes, of that. Yes, Plug yes. away. Um, oh, oh, to the camera. Oh, we yeah. love that. Right, I love that. Can I speak to the camera? <laughs> um, it's at Cody Rigsby on Instagram. At I think it's at Cody Dash Rigsby on TikTok because some bitch took my my name before I got yeah. on there. No, okay, the yeah, chutzpah. It's okay. it's okay. Um, the Peloton app if you want to get into fitness, and then you can go uh, on. Uh, to wherever books are sold and buy my book XOXO Cody. Thank you. Wait, is that TikTok person like holding it hostage? Or is it like strategic? I haven't really reached out, but mm-hmm. like, you know, that sounds like when I got, when I, I resisted TikTok for such a long time. And then when I was like, okay, let me get into this, I went to like do my full it's name. It's a scary place. It's a, that's a dark place. Yeah. It is, you know, like, I think it can be really fun, but the minute that you interact with content that is, controversial political whatever then it starts feeding it to you yeah. and then you get stuck in this loop and so i am a little bit nervous of how that will be harnessed in the future yeah. like not to not to like make a really uh serious pivot but sometimes i sit there and i'm like oh this content is yeah getting a little spooky and scary yep. and, uh, uh, and it's hard to like break it sometimes. It's a, like, you, you get stuck in the loop i don't i can't look at that good thing. for you i can't look at it it's so nauseating yeah yeah um Anyway, Agreed. I'm so happy for you. Uh, you. Sell books, sell your your machine energy, your amazing positive. Thank you, babe. XOXO. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and, XO, and, XO, and we'll XO see you in Fire Island. We, we have two weeks. So we're going to be there as well. Okay. And uh, yeah, I just and, um, did a, I didn't do a full quarter share. I just did two weeks. Okay. Yeah. Um, Hopefully we'll align. Yeah. I am at modilive.com. And uh, we have shows in Brussels, uh, Atlanta, Charlotte, North Carolina. Come on. And um, mm-hmm. Milwaukee. Oh. And then we are announcing by this... By the time Speaking this comes of audiences out, of non-Jews. Uh, by the time this comes out, we'll <laughs> be announcing the tour, and uh, there'll be over 12 cities near you. Be the friend that brings the friends to the comedy show. Get tickets for not just yourself, for a bunch of friends, especially at these times. People need a break from their phone and just a time to laugh. Um, thank you very much to A&H Provisions for being our, our partners, and Whites and Luxembourg, thank you very much for being a part of our podcast. Thank you, Cody, Leo, and Periel. Bye. 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 Bye.